Hello friends, uh, yeah, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. So in this presentation we are trying to, this is actually present, uh, presentation number four. Uh, we are trying to see how we can solve quadratic equations by the use of completing the square. Alright, now I'll be able to explain to you how we are, supp we are supposed to do these things. But um, this is the book that uh, I'm using. It's an, uh, 11 book okay so if you have you can just follow the steps the steps are there but i'll be able to explain them to you verbally okay i hope you're able to, to follow those steps you can copy them down so that you're able to use them in case you are stuck okay so Let's look at what we have here. So by completing the square, actually completing the square is the method that uh, derives this uh, formula that we have been using. All right. Uh, over 2a. So for this equation, if we are to solve for x by completing the square, you arrive at this which is the formula that we've been using. All right, now, what is the what is the thing that we are supposed to do? What, what is the first step? If you have x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0, according to those steps that you have read, the first thing is you take the constant to the right-hand side. All right? So, by that we mean you have x squared minus 2x is equal to so here we say z uh, zero plus what fifteen. We will get what fifteen. So here we put in fifteen. That's number one. Step number two: you must ensure that the coefficient of x is a one. All right. If we had any other number, let's say two, we would have divided throughout by two. All right. So here our coefficient already is a is a one. Good. Then the next thing now you go to b. Alright, in this case, what is our B? Our B is negative 2. <clears throat> Alright, now what are you going to do to this B? You find half of B. Alright, so how do you find half of B? So the half here is, you say half times C, negative 2. Alright, and what is half of negative 2? You have negative 1. Are we together? So you identify B. Find its half. Or just say 2 by whatever is there. If there was 7, you should have just said 2 by, I mean half by 7. Are we okay? But here we have found what? Negative 1. So what are we going to do to this negative 1? We are going to add the square of negative 1, both sides. So, so we are going to say x squared minus 2x plus negative 1, because this is what we found here. But you square it. So what you do on the left hand side, do it on the right hand side. So here we'll say 15 plus negative 1 squared. Now, here you're interested to do the squares. Actually, in most cases, this is the immaterial. So you deal with the squares. So here you get x, and then you get this. So you have x. What is here? Negative 1. So you have 1 to the power 2 is equal to 15. Plus, what is negative 1 squared? Negative 1 squared means negative 1 by negative 1. Of course, you can use the calculator if you want. So, you get a 1 here. Okay. So, here now we have x minus 1 to the power 2 is equal to what? 16. Okay. Then here we we'll say, we want, to, we want to remain with x. So, we can get rid of a, a power here by introducing a what? A root. So, x minus 1 squared is equal to 16. So, we introduce a square root. And we introduce a squared. Of course, here there will be plus or minus. I hope we are able to see it. Let me just write it nicely. <coughs> x minus 1 squared is equal to 16. So we are introducing a square root here and a squared plus or minus. So that we can say this root and that 2 and the root will, will cancel. So we are going to have the following. You're going to have x plus 1 or minus 1 
is equal to plus or minus what? Once you square root of 60, I think you get 4i. So x is equal to 1 plus or minus what? 4. Okay? This implies that well, the answer will be x is equal to what is z? 1 plus 4. Get 5. Or x is equal to 1 minus 4. Negative 3. These are the values of this. Alright? Now, if you didn't have... Um, if there was a root here, alright, maybe x is equal to 1 plus or minus the root of argument set, maybe 5 over 2. This is not an issue. So you can get the square root of this first, then you keep on adding or subtracting. Okay. Alright, uh, let's try another one. B. Okay. So, P is saying 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is equal to what? 0. The first step is check the constant to the right hand side. So, we have 2x squared plus 7x is equal to, here you say 0 minus 3. Alright? So, the answer will be negative 3 there. Okay. Now, step 2. We are saying we identify B, okay? What is our B? Our B is 7. So we must get half of 7. So we'll say half times what? 7. So here we'll say 7 over 2. Just that one is enough. Okay? So this is our, our half of 7. This one, 7 over 2. So you add that, both sides, but just to be squared first. So you square 7 over 2. Now, before actually we, we even get this, Please, it's always important to, to look at this. Here we almost made a very big mistake, alright? Before you even look at the half of this, take the coefficient. That's what I said here, alright? The coefficient here should always be 1, alright? So, meaning that here we need to divide by 2 first. Please, it's always important to take note of that. Because the coefficient here should always be what? 1. So, we have x squared plus 7 over 2 x is equal to negative 3 over what? 2. So now, for this quadratic uh, equation, that's why now you go for b. And our uh, b now is 7 over 2. Now, since now our uh, b is 7 over 2, we must find half of 7 over 2. Alright? So we are going to say, okay, half of 7 over what? 2. What do we get? 7 over 4. Now, it is 7 over 4 that we are going to square and add both sides. I hope that is clear. So we are going to say x squared plus 7 over 2x is equal to negative 3. Here, and you need to add. We have to say plus 7 over 4 to the power 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus 7 over 4. <coughs> 7 over 4 with a square here. What do you do on the left hand side? You do on the right hand side. Remember the teaching in the Bible? If someone has repeated you this side, you also give them the other side. That's where balancing of equations come from. Anyway, that's a joke. Alright, so in this case now, our interest is here with the square. Alright, so here I'll pick x. Uh, here, the sign here is plus. The brackets like that. If there was minus, I would have gone with a minus here. It's equal to negative 3 over 2 plus. Alright. So here, you square. This is 7 over 4 by 7 over 4. Alright. 7 by 7, 49 over 16. I hope it's okay. So, <clears throat> x plus 7 over 4 squared. Here, you go for the lowest common denominator. Okay, which is the, um, or the lowest common multiple. Okay, so we go for 16. That's our lowest common denominator. Yeah, or multiple. The lowest common is multiple. Yeah, I think we 16. So, this into that, we get what? Our 8. 
So we are going to say 2 into 16, or 16 divided by 2, it is 8. 8 by uh, 3, you have all, you got 24. Okay? Then this into that, it is 1. 1 by, by 49, you have all, 49. Alright? Okay, so now we have x plus 7 over 4 to the power 2 will give us what? What is the negative 24 plus 49? I think this is the 25 over 16. Good. So here now you must see, get rid of a square. Okay. 25 over 16. So it is this here that you must square root. Okay. So we are going to have x plus 7 over 4 is equal to plus or minus. Um, the square root of 25 over 16 means square root of 25 divided by square root of 16. That's the meaning. It's one and the same. So that is 5 over 4. Okay? So now we come this side. So we have x plus 7 over 4 is equal to, let me get the positive one, 5 over 4. Or x plus 7 over 4 is equal to negative 5 over 4. It doesn't matter where the negative is, the value is to be negative. Okay, so now, so we say x, so this guy will go to the right hand side, so we say 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4. Alright. X is equal to here. It is 4. This minus that. 5 minus 7. So X is equal to negative 2 over 4. It's a coincidence that um, all our problems, they only have maybe one decimal place or a whole number. So here I've got negative 1 over 2. Alright. Or, uh, we have x is equal to negative 5 over 4 minus 4 over 7 over 4. So, x is equal to, the common denominator here is 4. So, negative 5 minus, because here the denominator is the same. So, just deal with what is the, on top of the numerator. So, negative 12 over 4. So, x x is equal to negative 3. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to say is, uh, even if there is a, a non-perfect square, let's say here, after introducing the root, you find that uh, maybe there was 7 over 3. It does not matter. You can divide this on your calculator, then find its square root. The approach is the same. Okay. So, that's how you use the completing the square method. Actually, this method is the one that, has give, uh, that gave birth to the formula that we use, the quadratic formula. So, I think these two can be your exercise. Try them. They can give us a feedback. Thank you so much.